Yo, what's going on guys? It's Shaco DG, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my attachments that I run for all my weapons and operators. As you guys can probably see, I really don't have internet right now. I'm currently recording this without internet, so if you guys wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, it's actually really difficult for me to get this video out onto YouTube with no internet. I have to go through so many extra steps and do so many extra things, so if you guys wouldn't mind just liking, subscribing, commenting, I really appreciate it. It does help me out so much. Anyways, on to the video. So... I kind of use the same attachments for everyone, to be honest. I really like running Flash Hider, Hollow, and Vertical Grip. I don't know why. This has kind of just been the, the setup I've been running. But with the recent addition of these new sites, with the 1.5x and the um, new Hollow, new Red Dot, the 2x, stuff like that, I kind of do run some different attachments now. So I figured it was about time I remake this video and go over everything again. So... I know everyone's going to want to know what I run for the SMG-11, uh, what I run for Ella, so like that. So I'll go over that really quickly. So for the SMG-11, I've always ran this hollow, vertical grip, flash hider, and a laser sight. Now, I personally think this is the best thing you could run on the SMG-11 is the flash hider. I've heard that a lot of other people like using compensator. I don't. I've tried compensator. I really just do not like it. I've always preferred the flash hider. There are some seasons where they do kind of change the recoil. So sometimes, like maybe next season, for example, the compensator will be better. So you kind of have to feel it on a season to season basis. But in general, for me, over the past like two, three years, flash hider has been the main thing that I've used on my SMG 11. So continuing on with the laser sight, laser sight, everyone always asks me, why do you use laser sight? Isn't laser sight a disadvantage? Can't they see your laser? It doesn't get you killed, you know, this, that. Personally, I think running a laser sight, especially with a gun like the SMG-11, is really going to help you get a lot of kills you may not have got otherwise. Here's the reason. If you have a laser sight after the ADS nerf, so previously there was a bug where you would ADS really, really fast and that has since been fixed so the ads speed the ads time has now been changed to what it is supposed to be so it's much slower than it was like a season or two ago i forget exactly when they changed it so this means that when you go from uh at the hip so you're not ads to ads it takes half a second longer or so so in that time when you have the laser sight on what that's going to do is tighten that hip fire spread just a little bit so as you're adsing in it's almost dead accurate so you could be pretty much completely accurate while hip fired or like halfway hip fired uh before your ads so this gets me a lot of kills i've gotten so many clips in the past with just i kind of half ads half hip fire someone with the smg 11 or any other gun really um i really do feel as if with the nerfed ads speed time that running a laser sight is very very important you don't have to um, and there definitely are the drawbacks like i mentioned before with the, uh, the the fact that they can see your laser sight and it gives away position but for me personally i found a way to hide it i basically just keep it on the side of uh like a doorway or the wall i basically aim just before what i want to look at so if there's a doorway I aim at the actual door frame so they can't see my laser stuff like that um so you can find out how to hide it pretty easy i don't think that it's going to get you killed that often maybe a little bit at first but once you start to learn how to use it i think it's actually pretty useful so as for the optic i mean honestly you could use any of these i think any of them are good but for me personally i'm just a hollow guy i've always loved the hollow so i i'm just keep with the hollow i actually tried the reflex and i was using the reflex for a while it was actually pretty good um but i i i do like the hollow better the red dot for me i just i really don't like it so anyways so that's enough for the smg 11 ella we'll go to ella really quickly because i know everyone wants to know about these two guns so where is ella all right for her scorpion i run the holographic the flash hider vertical grip laser sight now this is just one of the variations i use for ella there's also a secondary variation that if you guys have been watching my channel for a few months you probably have seen me use this before it's actually very very good so first we'll go over this one and then i'll go over the second one this one is really good you'll have probably less very slightly less recoil than the other um setup that i have for ella but the only drawback of this setup is that your ADS speed is actually going to be 
uh, pretty extended compared to the other one because you're going to be using a vertical grip. So again, with the barrel attachments, I've heard that compensators are play. Then someone tells me no muzzle brakes to play. Personally, I like flash fighter. I've tried muzzle brake and I've tried compensator. I just don't think they're as good as flash fighter. I think flash fighter is more solid overall. Um, I do think if you're going to use one of these, though, muzzle brakes probably better in my experience. That might have changed with the new Shadow Legacy season because, again, it does change. But personally, Flash Hider is still a play. I can control the first 20 or so bullets, like pretty much like a laser beam. It's super easy. The laser sight, I just mentioned why I use it before. With a with the ADS speed being so long with a vertical grip, I really do think it's important to have the laser sight on to get you those lucky kills up close. Um, so the secondary setup I have for Ella is actually no optic, so iron sights, an angled grip, and then you could take the laser off if you want, but personally I'd keep it on still, and then keep the flash hider. So I don't know why, but it does feel as if this has slightly less recoil. I have absolutely no like reason why it feels like that but when you take your optic off and go to an angle grip it feels as if it has less recoil i have no clue why but this is something that i was running for a while because i really didn't like how slow ella's ads speed was with the vertical grip so that hey i'll just take off the optic and put the angle grip on and boom it feels practically the same as if i had a hollow one and the angle grip or the vertical grip but i i can ads quicker so the only drawback to this really is that you can't see very far. The optic is actually not that bad. The uh, the iron sights, excuse me, they're not that bad. Um, they're not the best, but they aren't terrible. They're definitely usable. I've hit many clips with them just fine. But if you are starting to get into those even medium range engagements, it's going to start to hold you back. They do get in the way a little bit. But if you're using Ella properly, you're using Ella up close, I don't think you'll have too much of a problem with this. So those are my two sets for Ella. Personally, I prefer the one with hollow and vertical grip just because I've kind of learned how to time my ADS before I peek a corner so that I'm fully ADS with a vertical grip so I don't have to rely on angle grip. That's kind of why you've been seeing me run like vertical grip on Valkyrie and operators like that. Um, I've kind of just started to time it and I feel as if the less recoil is just better. But uh, it's kind of a personal preference thing. If you feel better with the iron sights, then go ahead and use that. So as for the rest of the operators, I mean, honestly, again, I just pretty much use the same thing. Uh, I have changed on Sledge, however. Instead of using the hollow, I use a 1.5x now. I don't like the new hollow all too much. I don't think it's horrible, but it's just kind of meh. Uh, I prefer the old hollow on Sledge. So lately I've been running the 1.5x. I, I don't know. It feels really nice to me. I like it a lot. As for the, the you know the red dot and the reflex, meh. I don't really like them. And you guys all know I, I'm not a big fan of ACOGs at all, so I don't run them. Um, besides that, I think the only other operators I've really changed my optics on for the most part has been Jackal. I run the 2X on Jackal, which I don't play much in this account, so that's why it's not changed. But uh, yeah, I run the 2X on Jackal. I, I really, really, really like the scope. I don't know what it is, but this scope feels so, so clean. I love the 2X. It's so much better than the 2.5X for me. I know it's, you know, just a little bit of a difference, but it does feel so much better. Um... So going on to the other operator I changed optics on, I think it's Zofia. Zofia, I also run the 2X on. I love this. I love this weapon. Or I love this uh, weapon attachment. As for like overall attachments though, I again, I really just run flash header and everything. Like just flash header, vertical grip. If the gun has absolutely no recoil, then yeah, I'll go to angle grip. But for the most part, I just run a vertical grip. I don't, I don't know. I'm Maybe I'm weird. But I, I honestly prefer just the, the lower recoil with a vertical grip rather than the quicker ADS speed. Maybe that gets me killed sometimes. Maybe I got the wrong approach. But for me personally, that is what seems to be the best. So as for DMRs, I use just, um, you know, the muzzle break, of course. I never run suppressors. It's just a useless damage takeoff. There's no reason to run a suppressor. So, of course, muzzle break. And I've, I've tried out the 3X. I actually don't like it. Uh, you guys know I, I don't like the really high zoom scopes, so usually I actually just run a, a hollow if I can. So that kind of covers that. Um, 
but yeah again for the most part i mean even for the defenders i honestly just run flash hider flash hider hollow vertical grip um for some operators like pulse i do think it's not a bad idea to switch over to something like a or extended barrel uh the extended barrel is just going to give you a little bit of extra damage over long range um so i do think you're running something like an extended barrel on pulse is not a bad thing or castle um you know these really 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 low recoil guns uh i don't think it's a, a horrible idea to run extended barrel personally but that pretty much covers everything um i don't think i run anything else that's kind of weird I, I just again flash header hollow vertical grip laser sight um so i guess that's kind of all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i helped you out a bit um, but as always thanks for watching